Hello, Phil. Good morning. Happy Saturday. So you did good. You got power to these. You got them up beautiful, but they are not switched. Switch doesn't work. Why? Because you have all the power linked together. It's not switched. So see that on these, there's actually something in the back that says line and load. I don't know if you can see it on this uh, video here. Let me actually zoom it in here. Okay. Line, the load is the red screw on these and the line is the black. Well, guess what that means? Line is where your power goes in. Load, your power goes out so that it can go through the switch. So over here, your power going in needs to go there, but then you can't just connect them all here, okay? Your switch leg, the one that goes to the lights, needs to go to the red screw. So I think that you can handle that and become a better electrician and learn that the electric has to go through the switch and out the other way. You can't just all connect because it won't switch that way. This is the power, this is the leg. So I'm gonna take the leg and I'm gonna put it into the red screw and the power will just reconnect real quick. <clears throat> One thing is you wanna not have too much wire. You've got a lot of wire in here. Before I turn that on, I'm gonna organize this wire in here and push it back here. Second thing is you wanna take these cover plates off. They're not gonna work. And then we'll put all that back in there you are missing one switch. You don't want any wires touching each other. That's what you can get when you got too many wires like you got here. So just FYI. Hey Phil, one other thing, okay? This switch, one of these switches is connected to these. They're, they're, they shouldn't be. You need three switches in here. You need one regular switch that connects to these. This, these Wi-Fi switches are for the exterior. Okay, one for there, one for there. So right now, one of the yellow Romex wires, okay, not that one. Um, this one, Phil, this Romex wire you have connected here, disconnect it, boom, you don't need this, okay? Get rid of this wire right here, okay? This wire right here that I'm gonna leave bare, I'm gonna put one little cap on it so you know needs to go to this Wi-Fi switch. I'll actually switch it out for you right now. And then the wire that goes up to here needs to go to a regular switch. Remember, this is for three switches. And then you also have a lot of wire. You wanna like have all your white wires pushed to the back, your grounds pushed to the back really cleanly, really neatly. You're starting to get really crowded up in here. It's gonna be really hard to get all these wires up in there the way you've got this organized. So you want to organize that much better. I'm going to reorganize some of these wires, Phil. You just have too many. Like you have a tail, going to a tail, going to a tail, going to a tail. These, this makes sense as you have too many whites in here. So you can go from here, probably do another connector there, and then push all these to the very back. When you do this, you don't want to crisscross all these wires like this. You want all the wires coming in neatly, like this wire over here shouldn't criss cross over those wires. They should all come in basically or pretty organized like a circuit board. So I got all the whites up here, right? And I'm gonna get them all the same length. See, I have them at the top of the box now and they're all coming out basically where they go, okay? And then you've got your blocks. You've got many different lengths coming out. You wanna clean that all up, get these all at the same length basically and connect your power and then have all that go out. So I'll start with the whites. We'll get all this cleaned up and then we'll clean up the blacks. Okay, there we have cleaned up whites. Now I'm gonna push all these to the back. Okay, so I got my whites, they're all cleaned up. They're all coming in in order and they're pushed all the way to the very back, touching the very back of the box, okay? Cause you don't need any of those forward. And now I can start cleaning up the rest of this including all of this. So this is perfect, this one right here, but all these other tails are too much. So we wanna reduce, just kinda of like where we reduced the whites down to that simple little, we'll reduce all this down and make that much less busy. 
So what I did, Phil, is I pushed this to the back. That's clean. Now you have one tail and you can simply just connect these grounds to that one tail because you got four of them. So that's a simple four connector or one of these big guys can fit four of those in it. We'll connect those, we'll push that to the back. But look at that, it's already cleaning up. All right, Phil, so I cleaned up all those greens. Now I'm gonna push this to the way back, okay? You don't need a lot of meat on that because you have these long green tails right here. So take a look at that. Now all that's to the way back of the box, out of the way, it's not gonna hit anything and cause a short. Now right here you had a tail and then it went off and then it went connected again. You don't need all that. This can connect direct to the source. So same here, this can connect direct to the source. We'll make all that happen next. This is your power. This is your main power. Then it tails off and it goes to this outlet on this EMT. That's that right there, right? But you wanna cut these even. Okay, we'll snip that. See how long that is? That's gonna take up a lot of space in it. Snip that like that. Okay, so let's snip that about right there. Okay, that's about all we need there. We're reducing a lot, which will help us fit everything. Okay, so I've got the power source pushed to the back, and now I have one tail. From here, this will connect to my switches. But I'm gonna test all this live, which I'll show you next, because it's so jumbled up here that I don't know for certain. And then I'm gonna label each one. So I believe this is exterior sconce, but I'm gonna find out right now. Then I'm gonna label him with this little Romex. So that way we'll always know which leg goes to which light. Okay, Phil, we're live here, okay? This wire I'm touching right now is live. So let's first touch it to this, okay? That's interior lights, okay? That's the exterior sconce. Okay, so I had that correct. So now I'm gonna turn off the power. I know this is interior. I know these are the recessed can lights. All right, so there we have it. We have interior lights, we have exterior sconces, we have exterior recess. These are all the legs that go to the switches, which will all go to the red screw on these switches. And on a regular switch, it'll just exit out of the switch normally. So, but at least we're labeled. We know where our power is, our power is here. And now we can keep going. So that about concludes the tutorial. Now I'm gonna get these put in. We have the room, we can get those in. And then I'll have the one leg still remaining for the one switch, which will be the interior. And I have one slot available there to draw the power into that interior. So I'll wait till we get that switch in so that way I can keep these powered up. We're safe as this is all in there and there's that one slot. So nothing, this won't be live, but these will be live. When you make up a box, you don't have all that Romex in there. You know, you're gonna wanna cut all these wires, clean them up, get all that Romex out of there, get those pushed to the back of the box. And here is the excess that we pulled out of that box. So that, all that was saved room that we got in there by eliminating some of the excess wire and wire nuts, etc. from inside there.